Okay, we're here with CSUN head coach Jason Flowers. Coach, we're about two weeks into practice. How's it going so far? Practice has been going good. Uh, the, uh, the newcomers have come in and they've, uh, they've added a uh, different dimension to, uh, to practice. The, uh, the returners have done a good job of, of teaching them the ropes and uh, you know, kind of showing them what our expectations are. And so you know, the intensity level of practice is, uh, is at a pretty good level uh, for this uh, point of the season. Um, you know, there's some familiarity as far as the returners and, like I said, them helping the, uh, the newcomers along. And so the other thing that adds, uh, that adds to, the, uh, to the practice environment is competition. And so um, there's, there's, been, uh, there's been some pretty good competition so far in the first couple of weeks, and so we anticipate that continuing throughout the season. All right, let's take a look at the Matadors roster. 13 uh, young women on the, on the team for the 11-12 season. Uh, you got five returning uh, letter winners, led by senior center Jasmine Irving. Uh, what can you tell us about the group of uh, five returning letter winners you got? The returners have done a great job uh, starting in the spring. Uh, we started pretty soon uh, after the season was over last year, getting prepared for this season. Uh, they, they've, answered the, they've answered the bell uh, at every juncture. So it's, uh, it's been a situation where, you know, they've, they've, they've done what we've asked them to do. They've continued to get better during spring, summer, and now into the fall. And so, uh, led by Jasmine, she's taken on a, uh, a leadership role with this group and has done a tremendous job doing that. Uh, her, along with Bridget Conejo, our other senior, have done a good job of, uh, of, of leading the group and, and, like I said, showing people uh, the expectation level uh, of our program. And so, you know, the other the other returners have also done a great job. They've uh, they've worked hard in the weight room. They've worked hard in conditioning. Um, you know, they they've laid the foundation for what for what we're trying to do here in our program. And uh, conversely, five uh, letter winners returning means eight newcomers, six of which are true freshmen. It's a pretty highly uh, highly heralded class. Uh, and uh, what what can you tell us about this group of eight newcomers? You got you know what. I would say, you know, the one word that sums them all up is, is winners. They've all had success, uh, whether it be at high school, uh, whether it be at the junior college level, um, with two of them being transfers uh, from Division One programs who participated in the NCAA tournament while they, while they were there. Uh, they, they all, they've all come from, from situations where, where they're accustomed to winning. And when that's the case, you know, it just brings on again, a different dynamic. It brings a, a different attitude to the program. Uh, they all have worked hard since day one of being here. Um, you know, they all have great personalities. Uh, and so, you know, you put that with their talent level and then it becomes something to where, uh, to where we're, starting to, we're starting to see things uh, that haven't, haven't been seen around here in a while. And uh, Coach, can you talk about some of the renovations in the Matadom? I think that's got to excite uh, the team, the coaching staff, and, and the fans. A lot of uh, new things in place at the uh, home gym at the Matadors. Definitely, the administration uh, has been extremely supportive since we've been here, um, all the way up to, uh, to the president's office. Uh, part of that uh, during the offseason was, like you said, renovations to the Matadom, so it'll be a new look. It'll give, uh, hopefully, our fans a, uh, a different experience when they're watching games. Um, you know, it, uh, it also helps in, in recruiting and those kind of things. And, but, you know, even, even then, you know, we, we target kids who, uh, who are not high maintenance. Uh, we, don't, we don't do well uh, with high maintenance kids, and, and that's part of the process when we're, uh, when we're talking to them uh, during the process. And so, obviously, it helps. Uh, it helps. It, it just gives a better product, a better package. Um, but the kids that we have here, uh, you know, they're going, they're going to go out and, and they're going to be a product that we put out on the floor. Uh, and so, you know, with the new look at the gym and the new look of our team, uh, it can be a, uh, it can be a pretty exciting season out about. Okay, Coach Flowers, let's talk about the 2011-12 schedule. A lot of great games on tap. I think the highlight, of course, is the Woodland Hills. Holiday Inn Thanksgiving Classic featuring West Virginia, UCLA, and Colgate all coming out to the San Fernando Valley. How are, are you looking forward to that? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, like you said, with the uh, with the Woodland Hills uh, Holiday Inn Thanksgiving Classic uh, highlighting schedule. Um, you know, it's just a uh, it's a schedule that is going to challenge us in, in a lot of different areas. 
um, you know, at the end of the day, you want to be prepared to go into conference play and, and, and be playing your best basketball uh, once conference play rolls around. I think the teams that we've scheduled in our, uh, in our non-conference schedule, um, again, will challenge us to, to play good basketball, to be a good basketball team. Uh, and it'll challenge us to, to improve as the season goes along. And of course, the uh, you spoke a little bit about the conference, Big West Conference. It's a little in flux this year. A lot of new faces, new head coaches everywhere. What are your thoughts on the league as we get ready to start? Uh, you know, it, it, this time of year is funny uh, to me as far as coaching and, and uh, preseason predictions and all of that, all that kind of stuff. And you know, you get on. Uh, you can get on uh, a tangent and go off and, and lose focus on, on what's really important, and, and that's our team. Uh, you know, like you said, there's a lot of different things uh, going on in the conference, uh, you know, and, and this time of year all across the country, you know, it, it seems like a, uh, it seems like a boxing uh, pre-fight uh, press conference. You know, everybody uh, is trying to build excitement, everybody is trying to build hype. Uh, the reality of it is, is playing the basketball and winning basketball games is the only thing that uh, sustains that excitement around the program. So, um, you know, with that said, we're just focusing on us. We're, we're focusing on going out and working hard, getting better every day, uh, and, you know, being the best basketball team we can possibly be uh, by the time March rolls around. And, uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about your uh, recruiting philosophy. You know, uh, like we said, uh, class of eight freshmen. You know, what, what is it that you and your staff look for in, uh, in players? And, uh, you know, how does it present itself in this new group of eight uh, uh, new players on the team? You know what, I don't think there's a, uh, there's a, uh, there's a secret recipe uh, to recruiting. Um, you know, I tell people all the time, if, if this was rocket science, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, you know, if, if you talk to our incoming class, hopefully uh, one of the things that, that would be a major factor in why they decided to come here is because of the, of the real people uh, that, uh, that they came in contact with throughout the process. I uh, mean, our coaching staff and our players, um, you know, it, it, we don't try to overhype anything. Again, like I said, uh, high maintenance doesn't, doesn't usually do well uh, in our program. Um, it's a situation where Hopefully, like I said, these kids uh, came, um, they interacted with, with real people uh, who had a genuine interest in them developing uh, on the court, off the court, uh, in the classroom. And so, you know, I think our philosophy is just to find people that we can relate to, uh, find people that relate to us, uh, and, uh, and then go after them and try to get them. And finally, Coach, uh, your son, Jace, is going to be turning uh, one coming up soon. Obviously, uh, with the other Coach Flowers in the household, uh, you know, has there been a competition? Has a competition started for, uh, for what sport Jace is going to play, whether it be baseball, softball, or basketball? You know what? Uh, I, think, I think the other Coach Flowers had, a, uh, had an advantage uh, last year. Uh, Jace is, is 17 months now, and so during softball season, uh, you know, he was kind of just coming into his own as far as running around and playing and doing those kind of things during basketball season. He was still, uh, still a little younger. Um, but, uh, you know, she is coaching with the national team now uh, at the Pan Am Games, and so it's just been, been me and him for, uh, for a week now. And we're going into our second week being together, and he's been at practice every day. And so uh, when she gets home, she'll soon find out that the basketball has become his best friend. Uh, and so, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how she handles that when she, uh, when she returns from the, uh, the Pan Am games. All right, thanks, Coach. You can catch the Matadors in their exhibition opener October 29th against the Masters College. Thanks, Jeff.